Hello, this is Adam, and um, I wanted to talk about what it's like to have a high uh, IQ. So, <clears throat> when I was younger, um, people always told me I was really smart or whatever for my own age, you know. Um, and I never really thought about it, you know. Um, I'm not good at math now, you know, but because I forgot a lot of it. But, you know, I do remember um, being really good at math, uh, calculus, trigonometry, stuff like that. I was always getting good grades in math and science. I was always excelling at those things, logical things. Um, English, I wasn't that good at, but I remember being really good at math. And um, I never really remember, you know, people referring to me as like super smart until like I was in college uh, there was several people that said hey you know you're actually pretty smart or whatever um, and I didn't really believe it until like uh, recently um, you know because I can learn uh, programming language pretty fast uh, at least now and you know I'm able to put up put things um, I'm able to learn things really fast, like Security Plus. And, you know, I was able to get Security Plus certified, and um, in a matter of a couple months, and I have no um, experience in doing anything with security or cybersecurity or anything like that. Um, and I'm able to learn coding and stuff like that pretty well. So. Um, I, I recently, I, about a year or so ago, I took an online test for an IQ test, and it was about 136. And um, that's pretty high up there. That's um, pretty high um, intelligence. I mean, it's not genius. Genius level is like a 160. But um, if you do have an incredibly high intelligence, doesn't mean you know everything. It doesn't mean you are good at everything. It just means that you are very you're you could easily learn something you can easily learn calculus if you wanted to if you could easily sit down and read a book um in a few hours or something or um you, it's just easy for you to understand things um a couple times and it like i just didn't believe i, I was that smart until recently um because, you know, now thinking about it and thinking about my life and thinking about why I didn't relate to people um, is because I'm a lot, I was a lot smarter than everyone else, you know. Um, and I'm not saying that as to be mean. It's just actually true, you know. And people who are ridiculously smarter than everyone else um, have a very hard time of relating to everybody, you know. Um, and a lot of people don't, you know, won't believe you if you say that you're a genius or that you're you're smart. I mean, you kind of have to, you know, people have to be around you, you know. And um, I kind of figured out that I actually was smart because, you know, there was this old guy who I worked with, you know, and old people are typically critical of young people, you know. And, he, you know, I was like, man, I wish I was, you know, there's always going to be someone smarter than me and someone richer than me. He's like... Someone can be richer than you, but smarter than you. I've heard you talk. I've heard you. I've, I've seen you do coding and stuff. You, you're really smart. You're probably close to being a genius or something. And I, I, that struck me because, um, I, you know, he wasn't being sarcastic. He was actually telling me, you know, I'm smart. You know, um, but if you are really smart, chances are, um, most of the time you won't even know it. You just think that things are normal. Um, and you won't start believing it until people tell you that you're smart or that, you know, you believe it yourself. Um, but like at work, I was able to, uh, once I, I did some code after, you know, programming after, uh, they told me what to do. I did it wrong. And so I changed it in one day. I changed all the tests in one day and then I submitted it. A day later or two days later and um, all the, the all this programming to make it right 
and I actually got it right. And that's something that not everyone can do. You know what I mean? So there is something to this thing. There's something to me being smart, you know. And again, I'm not the smartest person ever. But if I could put my mind to it, I could learn calculus again and trigonometry again and geometry again. Um, or whatever I wanted to, you know. Um, of course, some subjects are difficult to me, you know, like physics and stuff. But, I mean, if I wanted to, I could learn it. I mean... I don't know if my IQ is as high as 136, but apparently it probably is close to that, um, which means I'm pretty gifted. Um, so if you are gifted like me or if you have a high IQ like I do, um, please comment. And if you don't believe that I have IQ, that's fine. I mean, you know, you just have to spend your time around me, you know. It, and having a high IQ, like I said, doesn't mean you know everything. It just means that you can learn things really fast, incredibly fast. And you you have a hard time relating to people who have a low IQ or a lower IQ, you know, which is most people. Um, and for me, like, the thing about having a high IQ is, like, you always need a challenge. Like, you can't, you're not satisfied with just, you're not being con uh, you're not content with just doing mundane things. Like if you're you're at a job where it's just too easy for you, you and not challenging enough for you, you actually will hate it. That's why I left my last job from my current job. It was just too easy. I just couldn't stand it being that easy. I, I wanted a challenge. Um, and that's something that high IQ people face all the time. They want more of a challenge. They want something to be challenging because to them it's just, the worst thing ever is not being challenged enough. It it it, it really gets to them. It, it's it's like living in hell, you know. If you can't, if you're not challenged enough, your brain doesn't like it. Um, you know, you actually get depressed. You know, so and that's something that most people um, don't want. They don't want to be challenged. You know. Anyway.